What is up, Life Fam? Welcome to another video. My name is David, your spiritual awakening coach, here to help you through your spiritual awakening. How to stop caring about what others think, aka how to stop giving a. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the uh, Spongebob episode where Spongebob and Patrick learn some dirty words and every time they say a dirty word, the dolphin sound comes on? What the? <laughs> That's my dolphin sound, by the way. Anyway, I have way too much fun with this. So, but seriously, guys, caring about what others think leads you to chase, causes you to discount your worth and disrespect your sovereignty in a list of other behaviors as long as my arm that keep you enslaved to the external. Now, I'm sure you've guessed by now, Lightways is an empowerment channel. So I'm here to empower you guys and show you how to stop caring about what others think. So let's dive into this topic, how to stop caring about what others think, aka how to stop giving a <laughs> right now. Let's go. How to stop caring about what others think. All right, guys, I'm going to get right into the meat of this. And I'm going to start by asking a very important question. What is it that you think that they're judging? What do they have an opinion about? Are they judging the real you? Or are they judging the mask that you've chosen to show the world, the physical avatar that you've chosen to show the world for this particular incarnation? It's my opinion that they're only able to judge this mask that you've chosen to show the world. This is what we like to call the false self. What is the false self? The false self is the identity that the ego created in its beliefs that that's the identity you need to be to survive. Well, if they approve me, then I'll survive. If they accept me, then I'll survive. If I people please, then I'll survive. If I'm just able to fix them, then I'll survive. This is the false self. This is not the real you. Now you guys already know, cause I've said it in almost all of my other videos when I'm about to say, you are source pretending to be human. You are a fractal of source consciousness having a physical experience. That's the real you. And everyone in the spiritual community says, I'm an eternal spiritual being having a temporary physical experience, which is a thousand percent true. But if that's what you truly believe your identity is, then what the heck are you worried about them judging? What can they judge? Can they judge spirit? They can't judge spirit. Spirit is pure. <laughs> There's nothing to judge. They would actually be judging themselves because they're also spirit. This is why unity uh, is always the answer. But so I think the disconnect comes from not understanding your true actual identity as source having a physical experience. Once you can understand that you are source having a physical experience, it will allow you to depersonalize your attachment to their judgment of the false self, because the false self is not you. So let's try to help you understand why you're a fractal of source. Let's run through the Lightways creation story. Let's call it that. <laughs> All right. So let's say that source, God, whatever label you want to put on it, is the original self-awareness. So at the beginning of existence, the original self-awareness is sitting in non-physical. And what is the main motivation of self-awareness? To become aware of yourself. <laughs> That's what self-awareness is, right? And aren't we all self-awareness? We're all self-aware in this physical avatar. We're a fractal of the original self-awareness, but if you're non-physical and your motivation is to become aware of yourself, how do you become aware of yourself? You fractalize into the physical. You become aware of yourself through contrast. This is learning through contrast. If you're non-physical, the only way you can know yourself is to become physical. So now, you know, if, if you you know, feel like that's blasphemy, <laughs> you know, you don't believe that or, or something like that. That's just fear-based religious programming. And, you know, if you're going to become enlightened, you're going to have to throw out any fear-based religious programming uh, because religion is not about you becoming enlightened. It's about you staying codependent, disempowered 
this is not uh, what spirituality actually is. But I digress. <laughs> but once you understand your actual identity as source, having a physical experience, this allows you to disidentify as the false self. When you disidentify as the false self, you stop personalizing the external. You stop personalizing other people's opinion of you because they're not judging the real you. They're judging the false self, which is not actually you. So, you know, when we talk about how to stop caring what others think, the word detachment uh, is, is front and center. But when you start talking about detachment with people, the first phrase out of their mouth, well, easier said than done. It is easier said than done if you don't understand your actual identity as source having a physical experience. Once you understand that your source having a physical experience, you can let go of the false self because you understand that that's not really you. I mean, think about it. Were you seeking validation in the non-physical? Were you chasing approval before you decided to incarnate? Were you people pleasing in the non-physical realm of omniconsciousness and then decided to incarnate? Of course not. You weren't doing any of those things until you decided to incarnate into the physical. So obviously the, the physical you is not the real you. The eternal non-physical you, that's the real you. And you weren't doing any of that stuff in the non-physical. This allows you to internalize your identity as source having a physical experience, which then allows you to stop tying your happiness and your worth to the externals. Stop tying your happiness and worth to other people's opinion of you. Everything in the external is temporary, but this conscious awareness is what is eternal and that's who you really are. How to stop caring about what others think? Well, remember, people can only see you through their own lens. And depending on how much work they've done on themselves, meaning have they healed any <laughs> repressed shadow trauma, is going to directly correlate to how they see you. So people can only understand you from their own level of conscious awareness. People can only love you from their own understanding of love. And what does that really mean? Well. It means that depending upon their level of vibrational alignment with fear <laughs> will depend on how they're able to love you. If they have a low vibrational alignment with fear, they're able to love you more freely. If they have a high vibrational alignment with fear, they're probably not gonna love you the way that you want them to love you. <laughs> People can only be compassionate toward you based off of their own level of healed trauma. So you see, it's very rarely about you and once you understand that detachment becomes easy it's only when we engage in the ego's twisted little game of comparison do we get ourselves in trouble you see the ego is non-physical so the ego constantly has to play the comparison game to prove that it exists well i'm better than this person see i'm real i exist i'm, I'm better than this person or this person is better than me because we've got them up on a pedestal um, and that validates all of the self-sabotaging uh, talk that the ego spews basically to keep you safe in your comfort zone, right? Getting out of your lane is dangerous to survival, so we better self-sabotage. No. Comparison is the thief of all joy. And when you stop playing the ego's comparison game, you stop comparing. Once you stop comparing, you really don't care about who's comparing you. So this is how you get your stress and anxiety levels down uh, because your worth and happiness is not based off of other people's opinion and you really could give up. First, we will do quote of the day and then we will do question of the day. Here is today's high vibrational quote. Now, Question of the day. How do you stop caring about what others think? Let me know how you guys are getting along on your spiritual journey in the comments below, Light Fam. Remember, if you have a question for me, add me over on Instagram, underscore Lightways. Until next time, I will see all of my beautiful Light Family in the next video. Light, love, and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace, guys.